Unveiling the Mysteries of Sin and Death, Deeper Revelations and Mysterious Visions by Duo Du Henry Apia Koran. I'll delve into death's mysteries, my spiritual encounters, and the workings of death spirits. Despite previous books and articles on death and sin, I will uncover further secrets about these entities. Revelations here aim to educate and prevent ignorance traps. God first mentioned death in the scriptures when warning Adam and Eden that disobedience leads to death, as seen in Genesis 2:15, 17. Disobedience separates humanity from God and brings death to body, spirit, and soul. Death operates in three realms, spiritual, soulish, and physical. For deeper insights, refer to my book, The Book of Secret Wisdom. As tripartite beings, our spirits open portals for the Holy Spirit, giving life to our souls and bodies, demonstrated when God breathed life into Adam, Genesis 2:7. Even before Adam, the spirits of sin and death were active. Physical death occurs when the soul and spirit leave the body, but life continues, highlighted in the parable of Lazarus and the rich man, Luke 16, 19, 31. Ecclesiastes 12, 1, 7 reflects on the silver cord breaking at physical death, symbolizing separation. God claims ownership of souls, declaring sinful souls will die, Ezekiel 18, 4, 20. A dead soul lacks empathy and is likened to wild animals or demons. Psalms 56, 13 and 78, 50 speak of deliverance from death. Spiritual death signifies a broken fellowship with the Holy Spirit leading to spiritual blindness and imprisonment. Christ alone can destroy the spirit and soul, Matthew 10, 28. Death, an enemy of God, is personified riding a pale horse in Revelation 6, 8 KJV and faces eternal judgment. Revelation 20, 12, 14. Sin strengthens death, Romans 6, 23 and 1 Corinthians 15, 56, with levels of sin leading to different types of death. To avoid death's grip, apply wisdom and stay spiritually alert. My books offer detailed revelations on overcoming death while shared visions illustrate the perils of sin and the hope offered by Christ. Consequences of sin are manifold, impacting one's relationship with God and susceptibility to evil influences. People become slaves to death through illicit sexual activities, Proverbs 2, 18, 5, 5, 7, 27, and negative confessions, Proverbs 18, 21. Embrace life by renouncing curses, affirming God's promises, and walking in righteousness. Freely download and read Duodu Henry Apia Korang books on his blog and Amazon for more profound revelations. Check out his blog, www.rockoffheaven.com, for more wisdom keys. Over 50 free books are available on his blog. Kindly share the link of this video to save a life.